So we're looking to photograph a pretty tough subject this morning. Uh, on my, uh, my local patch, the, the sand martins have returned. Now you have to be really careful because um, these are a, a um, protected species, so we have to really keep our distance. Um, so we sort of pitch well away. They actually, because it's a nature reserve, they actually do protect them. So they actually close the path here and actually fence it off um, when the sand martins are around. But I'm not even going to go near the fence because you know that will disturb them. You know, I'm still going to stand well back from the fence, well back from the sand martins, and just watch them flying around uh, and occasionally just coming into the nesting sites. Um, but you know, at a, at a good distance. So we're going to have to crop these pretty tight. These these images um, because otherwise, you know, we're just not going to see anything. So uh, so yeah. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can get uh, any decent sand martin images. I was hoping. I mean, the light when I started out was pretty good. I mean, we're going to need a really fast shutter speed for these when they're flying in and out. You know, 3,200 of a second, somewhere in that region, maybe even higher. Um, so I was hoping some really decent light, but the light's it's gone cloudy. You know, the sun's gone behind the clouds now, so I think we're going to struggle, you know. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can get. There's, there's quite a few flying around over the top at the moment, so let's see if we can get some images and a bit of video. So we've just been starting to get some nice video and some, some I think, some decent images. Um, and you know, this, they're this really active. We're obviously not disturbing them all. They're coming in and out, um, not bothered at all. Until somebody comes down, again, a photographer, just really not interested in the birds or the animals. I don't, no, they are, because they're taking photos, but just no respect for them. You know, they walk down straight up to the fence and okay, they're not going inside the fence where it's fenced off, but they're right on the fence, clear sight of the San Martins and they stop coming into the nests. You know, they, it's just not right. People have got to understand. And then he wonders why he doesn't get any photos because they're not coming back to the nest because he's standing there so close that he's just disturbing them. You know, they've gone off now and I'm just still where I was and they're now just coming back in as well. So. Um, yeah, seem to settle down a bit now, but you know, just think about the wildlife. Think about what you're doing to the wildlife when you're doing photography. Keep out of the way. I'm hidden behind a bush here, even though you know I'm a long distance away. I've still hidden myself behind a bush out of the way. So, you know, just trying to keep out of the way of everything. We're not in the ideal position here. I mean, we're looking at the, the wall where the San Martins are coming into at a little bit of an angle. The problem is, if I pitch myself anywhere else where I try and get a really isolated background, I'm going to be disturbing the birds because I'm going to be out in the open. Here, just tucked away behind this hedge, I'm not disturbing. And you can see from the, from the video and the images, they're really not disturbed. They're coming in and out, and, and there is a lot of them. I mean, it's really good to see this year. There hasn't been that many in previous years, but this year there seems a lot of them. Um, but yeah, if I try and move myself somewhere, ideally I'd want to be like level with the wall so that they're coming in and, and I'm not getting the wall in the shot, if you know what I mean. So I'm isolating the bird with the background further away, but 
I can't do that here without disturbing them. You know, I'd have to get pretty close. There's a bush stops me doing it the other side. I'd have to get pretty close to them and I don't want to do that. I don't want to disturb them. There's quite a few of them just sitting perched on these wires above me. They tend to come and sit on the wires and just have a bit of a pre and a bit of a clean up. Um, really busy feeding at the moment. Uh, there's lots of little flies around so they're grabbing those on the wing. Um, but yeah, nice to see them coming up into the, into the wires and just having a bit of a rest and a bit of a preen. There's actually some decent bright light coming out now and it's quite nice because yes it's cloudy I can see the sun up there through the clouds but that's given a real nice diffuser so the problem with these uh, San Martin they've got white white bellies and white patches on the front so you, you've got to be careful if you've got any bright sunlight it's just going to overexpose the white parts so it's quite nice with this sun and the clouds acting as a massive diffuser just to brighten up the scene but give you that softer softer sort of lighting so I actually put a put the 1.4 converter on just to see if I can get a little bit closer uh, and just see where we are with it um, but uh, but yeah so we'll see if we can get some images with that on as well and I mean they're, they're flying all around me which is really nice to see um, I think people walk down the path sometimes and get a bit close and then they disappear for a while but then they soon come back again after that got quite a few flying up above us at the moment around so I'm not going to get any video of it but I'm going to see if I can I'm going to take the camera off go handheld with it and just see if I can get a few shots of them in flight going above me um, that's so quick and they just dart all over the place so it's not going to be easy uh, and yeah they're quite close so sometimes it's it's difficult when you've got the telephoto on and you're zoomed in it's quite difficult to find them quickly enough to get a target on them, get focused on them and then get the shots away but we'll give it a go and see what we can do. Well I've got a lot of images to go and sort through. You'll have seen quite a few of them by now I guess. Um, but yeah, it is one of those things. I mean, my technique for photographing, trying to get them in flight and hovering is really, you've really got to latch onto a position and wait for them to come in because particularly against the wall here, because I can't isolate the background, the camera can't get a focus on the individual birds. 
Um, so I'm really just having to pick a position, wait for the birds to come in, click away as they approach, and then just hopefully we'll get some decent sharp images. So yeah, I think we've got some. I think we've got some good video. I think we've got some images. Um, and uh, I hope you like what you see. So whatever you're doing, have a great day. And I'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.